thick, tangled foliage draws monsters who seek cover in the dark shadows. There's a village in the center of the woods. It's all too easy to become lost in here. Strange vines grow rapidly, covering the paths and blocking the way. Do you know about Moogles? They're creatures from fairy tale books. Are you the Cole who owns the field? Hmm? Who... Who told you that name? Where'd you hear it? From Sarala at Canopus Farms. She told me that her father, Cole, left the village to collect fertilizer from the woods, but he didn't come back. And so you thought I was his fertilizer seeker? Is that what you're telling me? Is that right? You still haven't answered my question. Mm, sure enough. But why should I give you something for nothing? I say we, you and I, engage in some give and take. You're not gonna answer me, are you? Not until you do something for me. The fact is, I am looking for fertilizer. Which doesn't make me that coal fella mind. Anyway, it's a big job, and I could do with some help. Nah, nah, it's simple enough work. Anyone can do it. I've already found the stuff. It just needs gathering. I've marked the locations with a shovel. All you have to do is dig the stuff up and bring it to me. I've done what you asked. Now tell me who you are. Of course. I'm a man of my word, and I'll tell you what you want to know. You said you are looking for Sarala's father, a man called Cole? That's right, isn't it? Now listen carefully. Uh, the Cole you seek, well, the fact is he's, uh... He's already dead. He is? Yep, that's right. I was the one who found him. He was attacked by monsters. I ran to help, but by the time I reached him, it was too late. I was standing here, pondering how I was going to break the news to Sarala, when you came along with your questions. I feared if I told you what happened, you'd run straight off and tell Sarala. She has to be told sometime. Or will you keep it a secret? Of course not. I know I can't put it off forever as much as I'd like to. Now's the time. She needs to be told the truth. Plain and simple, with no sugarcoating. I think it'll be for the best, in the long run, leastways. For the best, huh? Um, tell me, when you say it would be for the best, do you mean it would be the best for Sarala? Or are you talking about yourself? What do you mean? Why, Sarala, of course. She's a strong girl. If you ask me, she'll do far better without her old man to burden her. Yep, she'll be able to move on, stand on her own feet, and live her own life. All right. Well, in that case, let me tell her. You'd really do that? I'd hate to drag a stranger into this. Maybe a stranger is exactly who she needs to hear it from. Hmm. You might be right. Very well. I'll leave it in your capable hands. That fertilizer you collected, it, it was Cole who found it. So, why don't you take it to Sarala as a keepsake? Oh, and one more thing. Give her a message from Cole. You spoke to him? Yep, just before he died in my arms. The last thing he said was, dig next to the flower. 
You tell her that, in those exact words. That's a hard story to swallow. But at the very least, he really cares about Sorala and what happens to her. I'll go back to Canopus Farms and tell Sorala the news. Always prevail. cluster of barrier vines. The blue ones part during the day, while the red ones, well, they do the opposite. They part only at night. First time in Yogg? My name is Darius. I like to keep on top of what's happening around here. This village is called Yogg. It's mostly hunters who live here. We survive by hunting monsters of all kinds. The people here may not look like much, but trust me, they know how to use a bow. Only the very best can join our band. We're a close-knit band of elite hunters, united by the dangers we face. Pretty sick. Sorry about that. I've been laid low with this cough. Doesn't inspire a lot of confidence, does it? 
Though to be fair, I don't treat humans. I only make medicine for chocobos. You're the apothecary? That's right. Oh, did you need something? There I was just complaining about my health as if I didn't have a business to run. If you want some medicine, you'll have to bring me the ingredients first. That's how I do things. Medicine for chocobos, although I know a few recipes that work on people. So the chocobos have their own apothecary. They have a good in this village. That's because without them, we could never survive out here. So then, what do you need? Supplements for a chocobo. What I need are... <coughs> Have you been to see a doctor? For humans, that is? I'm fine. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Brewing chocobo. To make it, I'll need chocoboros and slug sweets. Bring those, and I can brew you a batch. It's no surprise to see Cardesia's shop doing as well as always. Sure, you don't need to upgrade that. Ow, ow, ow! Those stupid slugs! Attacking out of nowhere like that! Next time, I'll be ready. I'll make minced slug out of them and have them for dessert. Easy, easy, easy. Calm down now. It's a healthy looking bird. Why, thank you. You wouldn't believe that not so long ago, he was so injured he could barely walk. Is that right? Yes. He's completely better now, though. He can run like the wind, all thanks to the herb I gave him. Must be a powerful medicine. What's it called? Why are you so interested? Oh, you're the person who found the Angel of Valhalla, right? I think I can help you. The herb is called Yule's Flower. It's a very beautiful flower that grows out east, near the ruined city. Yule's Flower, huh? Yes. If you find one, let your chocobo graze on it. If you pick it yourself, it's not nearly as effective. Actually, speaking of that, can I ask you a favor? If you do get the Angel of Valhalla to eat some Yule's Flowers, could you bring him to me afterwards? I could, but why? Well, it's just that I want to check something. Well, if chocobos can learn how to speak, and if the angel is smarter than the rest... Do you really think they can talk? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Anyway, if you do go to the ruins in the east, be careful. There are scary monsters roaming around there. What'll it be? Come back soon. Hi there! Now you be careful out there! Oh. 